the stuff about women being psychologically pressured to get married. Girls being told, if you don't marry this one or that one, nobody else is going to marry you. I mean, look at you. You're so whatever. You know, parents putting their kids down, their, their girls down, and then saying, you better get married right now. You better not embarrass us. You better not make the family look bad, etc. So when a proposal comes, you better take it seriously and just do it. Uh, and these girls feel just constantly pressured. So this is one side of it. And the other side of it is they can't actually express liking of anybody. I'm not talking about girls who are dating some guy or whatever, but if they say they express interest, it's completely outrageous. They're just worst crime ever, right? There is absolutely no room in this religion for the validity of a marriage which was forced in any way. Mm. Marriage has to be from the permission of the girl and not a reluctant permission. She should be libid. They should be completely open and happy about it and they want to get married. Mm. Not fine if my parents are telling me to, I should, no, 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 no. A woman comes to the Prophet them and says, my father forced me to get married. So I came under pressure and I, I, I got married, but I don't like him. He said, your, your marriage is invalid. Your nikah is batil. He said that. He did. Can you imagine? To, and, and you know why people do it? For It's not enough to know that it's like it's absolutely outrageously haram. You can't do it. That's not enough. There's a psychological problem. Because you know, you can tell people something's haram. They still do it. You know what the real psychological problem is? These people are more obsessed with their own happiness than their own children's happiness. Mm. Their name, their pride, their prestige their appearance to a society, all of this fake stuff that actually means absolutely nothing, means more to them than the lifelong happiness of their daughter. It's almost it's, like a beauty pageant thing. Yeah. Same type of thing. It's just a show. Oh, so many people are going to come at this wedding. We're going to get this hall. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. You know, our, our relations with that family will become better. This, you know, look at who we, who we found. And they don't find a person. They actually find a resume. Not even a person they want to be married. It, just, it has to be a guy from this place, has to have this disqualification. It's all artificial stuff. And the guy could be a complete jerk. How many cases I know of where they found this guy, they looked for him through thick and thin to find the guy from the same zip code as their village back home or... You know, and they found, found him and then two weeks later find out he's beating the girl to death. And then on top of this, okay, you know what? That's the time to admit you made a mistake. Yeah. But know what? No, no. It's okay, you should be patient. And don't tell anyone, it looks bad, it makes us look bad. When marriage is half your deen and you're destroying people's marriages, these people are preventing people from the deen of Allah. They should watch it. They are not in trouble with their kids, they're in trouble with Allah. It's a serious, serious matter. You know? So like looking out for the happiness of our kids and their consent. And may Allah make us, you know, wise parents. We make these decisions for our children and may Allah help our kids make wise decisions as they grow up, inshaAllah. We'll talk about some other things later. Barakallahu alaikum.